The most uh, famous triple point I would have to argue is the triple point of water. We've got the material, in this case water, in, in three phases simultaneously. So for the water we've got a solid, liquid, and gas. When this phase shift occurs, we decided as, as the world that we're going to call this 0.01c. I would argue it's the most used of the triple points out there. There are others. The triple point of water cell was revolutionary. You've got that cylinder and in it is water and nothing but water. When it's sitting at room temperature you see water as a liquid and a gas or a vapor introduce some freezing and then you have water at three different phase states. You've got it as a solid, a liquid, and a gas all at the same time. If the water is nice and pure, which we verify <laughs> as we build these things, the uh, temperature for the water at its triple point is 0 0.010 degrees Celsius. And that's a really cool standard. That's like that atomic clock in Colorado. It's a very cool thing that we sell and then it expands out from there. Inside the cell it's a specific temperature and it's always going to be that temperature because it's sealed off and if you want to verify that something else that you have is also a certain temperature or, or a certain has a certain amount of ohms in it you can actually use triple point of water cell. It's got a baseline so it's a good way to verify that your equipment is not faulty. It's basically based off of a scientific principle called a phase change and you have temperature and pressure and at a certain point in this phase diagram you have a, a point on there where all three phases, gas, liquid, and water exist. It allows us to have a very accurate measurement. Once you get the cell frozen you're, you're essentially in that particular part of the phase. A fixed point cell, one of one of a few different types of fixed point cells. That is what I use to um, calibrate my standards. I also use it to do interim checks. So in between batches of probes that I calibrate, I will use that triple point cell on my standards to keep track of drifts, deviations, and make sure that um, my standards are always within tolerance. The SPRT is going to drift. That's the largest source of error with an SPRT, and they are very sensitive. The triple point of water cell provides a way to monitor the drift of the SPRT, so you can either stop using it when it reaches a threshold that you determine for your laboratory, or you can um, measure resistance in the triple point of water cell and enter that resistance into the readout and cancel drift. So I always say any laboratory using an SPRT or a high quality PRT should have a triple point of water cell 